Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean. Today's date, November 2, 2022. New, this is a new YouTube channel for me. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. This is episode 457, entitled Pentagon Confirms. Ukraine will use a dirty nuke, blame Russia, and then NATO will have its World War III. And some of the things we'll be covering are some visionaries about World War III, earthquakes on the West Coast, so that's going on. Now some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot Subscriber, Dutch Sense, ETN News, Off-Grid Desert Farming, Israeli News Live, Canadian Prepper, a Steve Quell's website that leads to uh, DW News, Zero Hedge, Before It's News, a Best and Taylor. Now I had a Patriot Subscriber uh, who on November 1 sent me an email. Have you seen the movie Countdown to Looking Glass? It's about nuclear exchange, but it includes scenes of military planes being moved to civilian airports, just like we're seeing now, and also EBS. Well, we haven't seen EBS yet. Okay, now Dutch Sense and ETN News are bringing out some information about earthquakes. And I think it's good for us to look at what could be a scenario here. So we have the west coast of the U.S. California. We have Hawaii. Arizona. So now, what we're getting is, this morning, uh, close to the west coast was a 6.0 underwater earthquake, which was close to the data lines, data cables that go to Hawaii and then to the U.S. So I submit, you know, if you had an enemy who wanted to prep your nation for war, wouldn't they begin by taking out your data cables? And we know, we have learned from Dutch Sense also that an explosion can mimic an earthquake. I mean, the uh, explosions that took out the N1 into uh, Russian pipeline to Germany was also picked up on the Swedish uh, seismic uh, machines. So, now what's happening uh, is ETN News. Okay, 6.0 earthquake. It was 6.2 miles deep. And um, there's a uh, Dutch sense is documenting that it's now a wave moving across to Arizona. So that's going on. Now we have this. We have Zero Hedge bringing out the fact that tens of thousands of people are demonstrating against NATO in Europe because they don't want to freeze to death this winter with the politicians uh, getting rid of their Nat, uh, Russian natural gas, which they depend on for heating. So tens of thousands of people are marching and protesting in Germany, in France, in Belgium, in the Czech Republic, in Hungary. Get out of NATO. They also don't want to go to war. Who does? No one does. Okay. We have this coming out. This is from uh, DW News. And recently, we, I've been seeing uh, reports about the uh, MiGs being in Belarus. 
and that's really old news, but it's being brought forward again, I submit, for a reason. So we have Ukraine, we have Belarus. Now, inside Belarus are the Russian MiGs at 31s. These are the larger ones that have just been moved. I think it's 31K. And they can uh, take the uh, hypersonic missiles and the hypersonic missile can be nuke or non-nuke. They're eight meters long or 26 feet. They can be carried by these MiG-31s ships or submarines. They're called Ken's Hall or Dagger Missiles. They travel low to the ground and they evade uh, anti-air defense systems. They can travel at Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, or about 6,000 kilometers per hour which is 3,728 miles per hour. Their range is 2,000 kilometers or 1,242 miles. These missiles are also on the Russian uh, large uh, submarines called Belgorod and they can easily reach from Belarus anywhere inside Europe. All right, so that's going on. Now we have sources are saying that inside the U.S. that there were 400 military planes in the air that was on October 31 and November 1. And of course, we've had those reports that U.S. planes are moving from U.S. bases to civilian airports. Now, these sources are saying there are other military planes in the air over the U.S and that the combined U.S. military planes and planes from other militaries are in the process of locating and arresting and removing deep state players from the U.S. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But we do know something's going on with the military planes inside the U.S. Okay, Israeli News Lab, Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now has a ministry, but regularly gets updates from the Pentagon. The Pentagon is confirming Ukraine does have a dirty nuke, and they plan to set it off, blame Russia, and then bring in NATO. And we know currently in Poland, we have tens of thousands of troops. And we learned in the past week, NATO's plan is to attack Belarus. Now we're getting this information from Stephen, that the head of the snake is Great Britain. And Great Britain also is calling shots with regard to the shadow U.S. government, the shadow U.S. military. And it is Great Britain or England plus the U.S. who bombed the N1, N2 uh, a pipeline of Russia to Germany. They also bombed the Kerch Bridge from Russia to Crimea. They also bombed, uh, most recently in Crimea, it was Sebastopol, and uh, it was Great Britain who did the implementing and put it in together, but they used 0.5 kiloton nukes. So that's going on. 
They also took out Earl a few months ago, the Russian ship Moscow. And Russia has all the proof and has sent it to the UN. Now we have Canadian prepper bringing out some information that the U.S. Pentagon confirms U.S. troops are inside Ukraine. They're under U.S. Army Brigadier General Garrick Harmon, who says they're there to uh, trace the security of U.S. weapons. But they also say they're there to help Ukraine take out warships and generals. And we assume that means to help them take out warships and gen Russian warships and Russian generals. Now, the former president of Russia, this is Canadian Prepper plus uh, DS News, uh, Medvedev says that uh, under Russian Doctrine Clause 99, 19, Russia can use nukes to defend Russian soil. And we know a few days ago the U.S. Pentagon came out and said that U.S. military doctrine had changed and they could now use nukes as a first strike, a preemptive strike. And I'm wondering, where are the American people involved in such a decision being made by our military? No word of that. All right, off-grid desert farming. Uh, Hal Turner was the source, and we learned yesterday that Liz Truss, the Prime Minister of Britain, sent a text message on her unsecured phone to Blinken, who is the U.S. Secretary of State, one minute after the bomb went off on the Russian pipeline M1 and 2 It's done. So we see proof. Russia and the U.S. were involved in bombing the Russian pipeline. Okay. Now we have this. Uh, the military is moving planes at night to civilian airports. The 101st uh, Airborne, we know, is from Romania. And their plan is to invade uh, Odessa. Odessa is right about here. We've got Romania with the 101st. 4,700, and we know the 101st, I reported that in my last video, have moved their headquarters from the United States of America to Romania. And now we have this. Paul of Off Grid um, Desert Farming believes that the U.S. will make a surprise nuke attack. And, uh, yeah. And we had that reflects that recent uh, Pentagon military change. The U.S. doctrine can use nukes for first strike. Paul is saying, if you see the FAA grounding planes inside the U.S., recall, we saw that right after 9-11. All planes in the air over the U.S. were told to land at the next airport. Paul is reporting, if you see the FAA give that order, then it's likely one hour until a nuke attack on the United States. Now, uh, Paul is saying that he had interviewed Pastor Barnett, who had a... Uh, vision about World War III, and his vision matches with Best and Taylor had information about a visionary from Bulgaria. And both of these visions are matching up. And what they saw was an attack on the 
uh, North Dnepro River. And early in this conflict, I had a word in the Lord uh, from, about the Dnepro River, that there were underground tunnels there. Watch out for traitors. So now, what uh, Pastor Barnett saw was uh, an attack on the U.S. Now, other visionaries like Henry Groover uh, ha also have seen that. And Pastor Barnett also saw an attack on 17 U.S. cities. And he saw eight bombs being uh, hitting Ukraine. So he saw both sides coming out. So now, it's good for us to remember that God is in charge and he is on the move. His seraphim angels are down here with us to help us combat this evil that's going on. So it would be a good time to stock up, I believe. I love you, and I'll see you soon.